Hello friends as you must be aware that ChatGPT has released their latest API which developers can integrate with their app and use as per their requirements so today in this video tutorial we will see how we can call the ChatGPT APIs So in order to call chat GPT APIs, first of all, you need your API key. And in order to get your API keys, first of all, you need to visit platform.openai.com. And then you must be logged into this portal. And after you logged in, they will, you will see the section of API keys. And then if you don't have a secret key created using this plus button, you can create a key. In my case, the key is already created and I have already copied it. So there is no need for me to, you know, regenerate the key. But if you are doing it for the first time, make sure to create a key and copy and save it at some safe place. And once you have the key, then you will be able to call the APIs. So this is the URL for the API documentation of ChatGPT. So in this page, you can see that earlier there is some samples of installing or uh, ChatGPT. Uh, module but we don't need that so, so you can see here that they clearly say that for calling the chat gpt apis you need a authorization and then your api key separated by a space and the name bearer so you need, you need to have this part in the header you can see clearly that they have mentioned that this should be in the header and then you know with this api key in the header you will be able to call chat gpt so there are some node.js samples and there are some python samples but we will start by making the request using postman so you can see that the first api that is mentioned is you know models models now what does this uh, return this is a get request and it returns all the models available in chat gpt which we can use so let's see what models are there so we will quickly go to postman we will create a new request we will call it models let's save it in our chat gpt folder and then we will use this url and uh, we'll paste the url here in the postman and we need to add the authorization header as mentioned in this document that we need to have the authorization header with our api key so what we'll do the header name will be authorization bearer and then and let's see now since this is a get request we don't need to add a body let's call this and when we call this we are able to get a response so you can see there are different models available. This model is called Babbage. The other one is called GPT 3.5 Turbo. Then there is a model which is called Text DaVinci. And there are many other models. Fury Instruct, Beta. So the, these are the different models that are available in the chat GPT system. In order to learn about these different models, we have this documentation. I will link it in the description. So you can at this place learn about the different chat GPT models available. So you can see that these are the latest models GPT 3.5 Turbo. Then there is text DaVinci. Then there is code DaVinci. This can help you uh, complete your code. And uh, you know this is a DaVinci model which if you try if you read they say that it is mostly capable most capable model family and can perform any task that other models like Curie, Ada, Babbage can perform. So we'll try to explore this model as well. So let's now go back to the documentation and we can review a model as well. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same information they return back. So let, let's create a completion request. You can see here that they, this is a feature provided by ChatGPT API. You can create a completion. So you can use this API in your 
application in your code and complete your text or your sentences or whatever you want so we'll try to use this api which is you know api.openai.com dot slash v1 slash completions so this is the completion completions api you can see that I already added my authorization here and uh, in the body you can see that i am giving it a prompt you can see in the documentation that it takes a prompt and it takes a model name so i am passing the prompt and model name so i am passing the capital of india is and i have limits and i have limited the response to 50 tokens if you if if we don't require it we can remove it as well and right now i'm using the text davinci model we saw in the documentation that they say that davinci model is capable of doing whatever other models can do so it is mostly capable of covering functionalities of other models so let's tr try to run this and when i run this and may please make sure that it is a post request since we are giving a body as well so when we run this i entered the capital of india is and then you know it is able to con complete the sentence new delhi this is you know a completion feature ordered by gbt ai which is using the davinci model we can change the model as well and you know similarly for example if we try to use the babbage model so instead of text davinci if i add babbage let's see what happens so now i have added babbage and you know see it is giving a weird kind of a response you know it is giving mumbai then the second largest city is bangalore so it is talking about the largest city but then it goes to say and then the 10th most populous city is delhi in 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 market of food blah 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 whatever let's try to run it once more because i don't think this answer is fully accurate now it's saying chandigarh so basically this model is not pretty good for us let's try to use something else the gpt 3.5 turbo model let's try to use this one let's see what does it give it's giving an error message basically requires something more which we are not providing let's try another model let's try ada so we place ada here gujarat so all these responses are weird the 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 first model that we used was giving the accurate response but you know it is all based on the model and the kind of training the model has had and uh, basically you know in in ai world there is nothing like right or wrong things are in between right and wrong so it is not zero or one it is zero point something it's not objective but you know it's it, it is what we is called fuzzy it is kind of a fuzzy response so let's try one more model code day one c zero zero two it's taking more time than others but let's see what it produces new delhi and you know it's giving some additional text which we don't desire but yeah pretty much this is the model responses let's try to explore something else so they have the chat feature so for that this is the url api.openai.com slash v1 slash chat slash completions so you need to call this chat completions um, api and you know can you know chat with this model so you can inbuilt chat features in your model in your apps in your web apps in your mobile apps by calling this api okay which will call chat gpt in return so you can see that it takes model name as input and it takes a mandatory message as input and you know the format of message should be in this way which is you know a nested json so it should have a role and it should have a content so let's try to call this api
So this is the URL of the chat completions API as we saw in the docs. Again, we have added our authorization in the headers and in the body, we uh, have mentioned a role as user and you know, then we can chat with it. So for example, if we say, what do you think about the performance of Indian cricket team in its last test match with Australia? Let's see. And again, you know, the model is very important. Which model of chat GPT you want to use? So here we are using chat GPT 3.5 turbo. This was the first which we used and it gave us the best prediction in form of New Delhi. And again, you know, the model is very important with we'll this model. I am hitting send. And basically, you know, we are chatting with chat GPT using this API. So what does it return? First of all, it says as a AI language model, I don't have personal opinions or feelings but I can provide you with some facts. Indian creeper team performed exceptionally well in its last test match with Australia, winning the match by eight wickets. It is talking about a very old test match, which happened between India and Australia at GABA cricket ground, Brisbane. So it is not updated with the latest uh, performance of Indian cricket team in test match. It's talking about old test match, but was anyways, it is a model and we are chatting. So there is no nothing as right or wrong here things are neither zero nor one they are in between zero and one this is you know in the ai world called fuzzy so anyways we chatted we asked a question and it provided us a response so you can you know try other other questions as well so for example you can say suggest me indian baby boy names so if you type this i said india not indian but it was able to still get my question so it, it has suggested me some very good names like arav ved advait arnav karthik very relevant and very intelligent response you see it's, it's returning some very me meaningful and very nice names so you can chat with this chat JBT using openai.com uh, using the using the slash chat slash completions API. Now let's see how can we call this API programmatically from Java. So we can see here that we have a project called chat GPT caller in which we have a class chat GPT client. So in this class, we have some code and the interesting thing to note here is that I generated this code also using chat GPT. So you can see here, I open chat GPT and I asked just a question, how to call chat GPT API from Java. And it provided me a brief description. It said that you can use Apache HTTP components or you can use OK HTTP and then it provided with me with a sample code using Apache HTTP components. So in order to use this, I had to add its jar in my pom.xml. So I searched Google and this is the dependency for using the Apache HTTP components library. So I added it and then I used the code which is provided with the sample. For example, we are calling the completions API. So here, when we called it by postman, we got some response. Let's see what do we get when we try to call it by code. So in this, our Java code, which we have generated using chat GPT code as well. Basically, we are creating an HTTP client. Then we are creating a HTTP post request. We are giving the URL of the chat GPT code of the chat GPT API that we need to call. Again, we are setting a header as content type as JSON and authorization. We are passing the bearer token. And then, you know, in the request body, we are setting a prompt, which is a mandatory 
require attribute for this request and we are uh, we are specifying max tokens so it will limit our response to these many words and then we are also giving it a model name so we are giving it code davinci 002 model name then you know we are creating a request and then using the http client created at line number 14 we are executing the http post request which is created at line number 15 and then we fetch the response at line number 24 and then we try to print it at line number 26 so let's see what happens when we run this code so i have hit on run the request has started but we are still waiting for the response so our api is taking a little bit of time but let's wait for the response let's see what do we get so now we have a response and it says new delhi it is you know also adding some descriptions while new delhi is not the largest city it is seat of the of the something something it has missed do you date online there are some random texts followed by but you know so we can see that this model is still not perfect we can call other models as well but yeah it 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 started with the current answer so you can add different models here you can use this api and you can create your request body according to the way we have created request bodies for these jsons and then you know you can call chat gpt apis so you can call completion apis as well you can call chat apis as well in this tutorial we have seen how to go through the documentation of chat gpt apis then we have seen how can we call them using postman and then we have also seen how we can generate the code for calling them using java and then we have seen a practical example of calling these apis using java so friends i hope you would have liked this description we will continue this series and maybe we will try to create a react front end and a java back end and then you know try to call these apis using our front end and the request will go to our back end and then to chat gpt and it will fetch us back the response so we'll try to build on this video as a series and um, if you like this video friends don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel for more such videos and do let us know in the comment section what do you want to see from us we'll be very happy to create similar content as per your expectations thanks a lot friends